Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 312. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 307 to 315. Hey, in this video, we have a data dump. Here's the date, and here's the account and uh, amount. But the date was dumped in in this format. There's day, day, mm, year, 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 hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. So like that. The day is going to be the left two characters. The month is going to be in the middle of this text string, starting at position three and going two characters. The year, 2010, starts at position five and goes four characters. So we need to create a column for date and for time. And the reason why is we really can't do any of, we want serial dates and serial times uh, for doing date math and time math and things like that. So we're going to have to extract from the middle of this text string and convert it to a date. Now there's a couple methods. I'm going to show you the uh, date function and the time function. I have some other examples over here, the date value and the time value. Now I'm going to hide these two columns right here. Highlight the two columns, right click hide. Now let's use the date function. And the date function wants a year, a month, and a day. So if I just typed in 2009 comma, one comma, one, close parentheses, it would give me January 1st, 2009, F2. But that's not what I want. I need to extract from the left and from the middle part of this text string. So for year, we'll use the mid function. It actually, you tell it a text string, the starting position, the number of characters. So example for us, we're going to tell it start, count in to number five, start there, and go four characters. Now the text is that right there, comma, and I'm actually going to use this mid B14 comma about five times here. So I'm just going to highlight it and copy. All right, the start number, we can just count with our fingers. And when you're doing this type of stuff, you have to recognize a consistent pattern to exploit in your formula. Now this is this database dump this, and it's always exactly like this. So for us, the start number for year will always be 5, and we'll always go comma 4 characters, close parentheses. Now the screen tip jumps back to the date, and you can see year. So you type a comma, and now we're on to month. Control V, same thing here, except for, for the month, we start at 3 and go 2 characters. So 3 comma 2, close parentheses. The screen tip jumps back, comma day, same thing, Control V. And we want, oh no, not control V. We want, we'll use that again in just a moment. We want the left function, because we're going to use the left two characters. So left of this, comma, two characters. Close parentheses. Now close parentheses on the date, and boom, just like that, we have our dates. Double click and send it down. That is just amazing. And uh, this is a serial number. So if I get rid of all the formatting, applying general format, you can see it shows us 40,461, which is the number of days since December 31st, 1899. Control Z, there's that date format that sits on top of your serial number. Now let's use the time function. I'm going to right click hide this and increase this width right here. Equals time, Control V, or not yet, hour, minute, second is what we need to extract from this. Our hour is going to be right there, ninth character, go to our minute will be 11th character, go to. So 11 in this direction, that's the 4, go to, that gets the 4 and the 7. Control V, and this is for hour. So we have that, and we want hour looks like 9, and then go two characters, close parentheses. Screen tip jumps back, comma. We want our minute, so we control V because we're using our mid. Notice these screen tips are just so awesome when you're doing big formulas. We, are, we need our starting position, which for us is going to be 11, comma, 2, because we're going to go 2, close parentheses. The screen tip jumps back, comma, and we don't want seconds, so I'm just putting a 0, close parentheses, and then control enter. Double click and send it down. Now I can highlight this and right click unhide, unhide. Whoa. Um, control Z. What did I do there? Right click unhide. I think I changed unhide. Zoop. Did something there. So there we have it. Uh, we've extracted from this data dump the date 
and the time. And if you want to see an alternative, some people uh, use the, the date value. That means you have to do a bunch of concatenating and or the time value. All right, we'll see you next trick.